Here we go, Jim here, Team Aquatics, just with an update of the Frontosa tank. What's up, YouTube? Just want to bring you guys an update, show you how these guys are growing. Um, really surging up in growth and uh, I've got them under white light now so you can see the coloration is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, just fed them. Uh, it's evening so I'm going to be uh, heading upstairs take care of business upstairs but before I went up I wanted to videotape these guys for you guys so you could see exactly how big and blue and beautiful they're becoming. Um, at about a year and I would say I probably got them if they were an inch long when I got them probably three or four months old these guys are probably a year and a half and um, they're just absolute stunners these are my F1 Katoomba purple uh, that I got from Anthony 2 from the Frontosa factory and if you uh, aren't familiar with that site, you're interested with, you know, in Frontosa, he actually has uh, um, great videos of all of his uh, his breeders and uh, the colonies uh, that you're buying fish from. Uh, you get to see on YouTube. Um, you can follow him on Facebook as well. I'm not endorsing him for anything, and I'm not uh, trying to sell his stuff or wasn't asked to promote his stuff but I am gonna say that these fish are absolute stunners and I'm just so happy with the purchase that I made over a year ago um, that I just can't I every day I come down and look at them and I see something different and I just see more beauty in these guys and uh, so yeah I just wanted to uh, to show you guys what uh, what I see every day and I love the hobby, and this is why I love the hobby, and this is why I'm sure you guys all love the hobby as well. You see something new every day. So I'm going to try to tweak my filtration in this tank at some point, and I'll definitely be posting uh, updates as to what I'm, what I'm doing. I mean, the tank water is really clear. Um, and the lighting, I, I have uh, just one 48 inch um, LED strip anyway on here and I've got it set to white. But uh, it seems like there's always a lot of little particles floating around in the water that I can see. I don't know if the video is picking it up. Uh, it's probably not. But it's, uh, it's something I see and I'm just wondering, I think a lot of it could have something to do with the fact that my filtration is taking place behind the um, the background and I'm not really sure what I'm thinking of doing to tweak it but if you look way to the back there you can see one of the holes that I cut there's another one on that little there's a I don't know if you can see it I don't know if I can get that angle there but um, I've got some holes cut in there with some grates so fish can't get behind them um, behind the background but uh, just not really sure it's really the most effective way to filter the water. I mean, the water is being filtered, so there's no toxins in the water. I mean, my nitrate level with my drip system I have going is, uh, is virtually nothing. Uh, so the water is pristine. Um, obviously, there's nitrates uh, or, you know, there's, there's nitrogen in the water. I mean, I've got diatom algae here, but a lot of that diatom algae can be caused by, uh, you know, low lighting, um, you know, uh, I'm overfeeding so you know there are surges of nitrates in the water I'm sure nitrogen in the water from the food uh, I've cut back on the feeding and uh, just a twice a day now um, but um, I've also uh, I have a, uh, a bushy nosed a bristle nose pleco that is in quarantine right now for the next few weeks and I will be putting a, a bristle nose into this tank because Bristle nose eat anything. And everyone that's in the hobby knows they'll they'll eat anything. So they'll start chipping away. That fish will start hopefully chipping away at some of the diatom algae in here. And uh, 
Again, I've got uh, only the fronts in here, and I've got two uh, Eurostoma polii uh, Cynodontis cats in here. You can see them occasionally popping out. Um, but that's it, because I realize that, you know, once a fish goes into this 265, uh, they're, they're probably not coming out again without any serious struggle. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give an update and, uh, and hope everyone is well. And uh, just to let everyone know, I, I did subscribe to my aquarium box. Um, you know, hopefully it'll curtail my uh, my spending, my monthly spending, uh, just to limit it to 25 bucks a month. Um, you know, get some treats, get my fix of aquarium stuff. Um, hopefully it'll do that for me. Um, but I'm interested in it because I know that the... Um, the My Aquarium Box is a Massachusetts thing, and uh, and it's a it's a business that started up here in, in New England, and uh, I'm from New England myself, and I'm looking to support it, and hopefully, uh, maybe if uh, if you guys want, I will do an unboxing of my first My Aquarium Box uh, when it arrives. So, hope you enjoy. I'll I have my Central American tank upstairs that I'm planning on posting an update of pretty soon. But uh, I just walked into this room and saw the fronts, and I just really wanted to, <laughs> to, to show them off because they're just so beautiful. So shout out to IFG. Uh, I'd like to see so, another video of his, an update of his uh, Frontosa tank. I know he's got a Burundi tank going. Uh, let's see it. All right, guys. See you soon.